right there you'll notice I put a 60 amp breaker in uh, on the trolling motor battery so there's one and there's two no one mentioned 60 amp breakers at all uh, if you don't put 60 amp breakers if you're going like I went from a Maxim to a Ultrax if you don't put 60 amp breakers in it'll blow it'll trip the breaker when you go seven or eight or higher or if you try and use autopilot spot lock works perfectly and so does the trolling feature everything works as soon as you try and use the autopilot or uh, spot lock I mean or autopilot um, it's not gonna work it'll trip the breakers it actually draws 56 amps uh, when it's on full so uh, I'm gonna throw this in here at at the beginning of the video this is gonna actually be the beginning part of the video um, and that'll uh, so please put 60 amp breakers in if you don't have them you will not be happy when you get on the water although the trolling motor will work perfect and again spot lock perfect everything worked all right that's uh, the install thanks for watching my new Ultrex it's on the ground um, we're going to be installing this bad boy uh, the reason it's on the ground is because over here is where it has to go on this boat right here the problem with it is the boat is long enough it's a 19 and a half footer and the problem is from this compartment to these holes you cannot get your uh, arm up there it's too long and my arm is pretty skinny I mean I can get pretty up, up in there so we're gonna be using these weld nuts now these are the old ones uh, I'm not gonna be using these I got new ones um, that I'm gonna be putting on there so stay tuned for that that's coming up um, the install on the Ultrex there she is that's kind of how she comes uh, I took just took the box apart and then just took the uh, the mount there uh, we were trying to install it but that, that those parts were just old and I didn't want to use old crappy parts on this nice new trolling motor so um, stay tuned for the install and uh, we'll have that more we're gonna put the uh, Ultrex on today you'll see I got the trolling motor off already um, I'm using these little isolators um, there are these guys I got them on eBay I mean I got them on Amazon they use the old motor guide ones but these are the ones I got right here um, so they're the track isolator bolts um, and they really do a great job of, of attaching this stuff to the bow uh, they were I think they were $21 for eight of them I'm only going to use six of them here's the six holes to reason being is the bow here you can't get your hand you can only get your hand into about here um, and obviously you can't get nuts on the bottom of these so as we go along I'll show you uh, you know what I'm doing what steps I've taken uh, it's a pretty easy it looks like a pretty easy install so hopefully that's the first true. thing I'm gonna do is um, mount so this um, to the boat this is the mount for the trolling motor so I'm gonna mount that on the boat and then I'll show you guys how it fits on there I'm uh, going from a Maxim to an Ultrex so one thing you're gonna notice here on this mount is there's bolt holes on the outside underneath this trim so the trim you just take these three screws out now I've already done that over here and it's just this side so what you're gonna want to do if you have a Maxim you're gonna use these outside bolts right here um, if you have a Fortrex you can use just these in here so make sure you don't freak out and don't start drilling make sure you use those outside holes underneath so the we're gonna trim piece. start by putting this thing on and just getting it where we can measure it up so I'm going to make sure these holes line up um, and it looks like they line up pretty good and that bow guard right here you want that over your bow so that the Trolling motor doesn't hit that. Um, I'm just going to start putting these screws in. 
screws are a little bit big, but there's a little plastic deal right there. I'm going to have to take that out. But so far, it looks like this thing is going to be really just about perfect uh, the way it lines up here. Yeah, so then we can get these screws in, start lining all this stuff up. These are going to be hard to get in because they're bigger screws, but it's okay. Um, you just want to get them in and uh, tighten them. Now, I might need smaller weld nuts. We'll see. Um, I don't know. Um, but so yeah, there. So now it's actually mounted. Now, I got lucky because the way this thing mounts is really good because uh, my Maxim mounted right here. And it, again, it's, it's a little narrower in the bolts here, but these outside bolts will work good. So I'm just going to tighten this thing up. Once I get it tightened up, I'll show you how we mount the actual trolling motor uh, head to the top here. Just a side note here um, on this Skeeter. This is a Skeeter 195C, uh, 98. I had to use these shorter bolts from the Altrex uh, because up here on these two front ones, it's so narrow, you, you'll hit the hull. Um, so you want to use those shorter bolts from the Altrex in, if you're using those well nuts. Um, they'll fit right in there. I already got the one tightened in, so um, Yeah, and then you just want to start tightening them, you know, you tighten them down And they just stay you can kind of feel them you can feel it getting tight Just push down on it You know, we're gonna tighten it You know as tight as you can get it comfortably and that's that well nut on the bottom sucking up Tight, thing. okay Kind of All right, well, stay tuned. I'm going to put the start, head on. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, and this bolt right here, there's an Allen head. You can see it's, and it's got this, the assistant, the uh, instructions for putting the, the spring pin in for the gas assist. Assist. You don't really want to, you want to do that last. That's the spring pin for the gas assist. Only because when you're working on this thing, if it comes down on your hand, um, you don't want that. So this then is the bolt, it goes right here to put the head on. So uh, right now we're going to mount the head of the trolling motor this to that piece right bracket. here, fits over this, this piece. I'm going to try and do that right now with it attached to the boat. Okay. Okay. And then, what did I do? Okay, and that's how she goes. She goes just like that. And then this, so this bolt, I'm gonna just try and see if I can, that stays. Okay, so the motor, the bolt goes right in there. And that's where uh, she detaches. So now, she is attached. I'm going to tighten that bolt up, and then I'll be right back with you once that's done, and we'll keep the install going. Two washers. Okay, one goes underneath up here. One goes under, under it where it mounts to the bottom piece. So there's two washers you want to put those in. So don't forget those. Uh, you want that to be fairly tight. Obviously, it's on the front of the boat. It's going to be bouncing quite a bit. Um, so yeah, so now the trolling motor is actually attached. Um, here is the trolling motor pedal. Um, that you're just going to bring up here for now. Put in your well. Um, so we got that in the well. That'll just sit there like that. Um, once we get ready to so mount this, to um, I'll show you how we do right that here. and connect so it all. So all you want to do uh, to power. get this thing installed. You've got your, you've got your mount here, okay, which is this, this is, uh, this is the mount, there's these spacers on this side that go around the gas shock, um, and then the two Phillips here that attach the gas shock. What you want to do is, this thing is going to be 
down. Okay, let's get that in a better frame. Okay, this thing's gonna be down. It's not gonna look right. This thing's gonna be wet. So what you wanna do is get it to its stowed position and then push this up till about where the gas shock holes line up. And then you put your, your spacer in. So your spacer goes in right in first, right? So you're gonna do that. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Yeah, we're just gonna put the spacer in. You need those spacers so the gas shock doesn't get uh, doesn't get doesn't move around in there so okay so now you got your spacer in there and this is kind of tricky with one guy but you get your spacer in there then you put the pin in put the pin in halfway so now you got it in halfway and you got it right to right to there so you're halfway you can see the pin coming out here now you just get your other spacer you can kind of push that pin back in, you know, get the spacer in, and then, it's kind of hard to show this with, with one person, but once your spacer's lined up, all you're going to do is just push that thing through all the way. And then you've got, you know, your two Phillips screws will go in here, and that's it. And then your gas assist, uh, will uh will work uh, that gas assist is real nice on this trolling motor so that it so that it and you need two phillipses to do this so you hold one side with one phillips tighten to one side and then you do the other side with another phillips and it'll be perfect it'll countersink in there for you and it's it's got Loctite on it already. You don't need to do anything with that. And she's in. And that's, that's your gas shock assembly mounting uh, installation. Um, I may try and tighten these bolts down a little bit more. Uh, I may take her back off and just try tightening the bolts down a little more. Uh, but that's mounted. That's all there is to mount it onto the to the deck. Now we've got all the electronics to do. We've got the pedal to do, but that that's all pretty so easy. And I'll show you step by step. We're gonna get to the electrical stuff, stuff now. Um, I'm gonna use one of these. So this is a plug instead of just uh, connecting this direct. I've got a plug up here in the front. So basically, you're just gonna take these two screws out. Goes up. Your ground is green. Your positive is silver. Um, obviously, the red and black or red is power and black is ground. We're just gonna hook that up. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and then we'll get this thing uh, doing up. I'll get the puck hooked up the and then we'll now. be almost done. You want a little bit more than that. You want about another eighth of an inch more than that. You don't wanna to go too crazy on the, on the stripping though. That's about perfect. And then I always just give them a little twist so that they'll go into the into the socket real nice. So then I just do that on the other one. Uh, you just want a nice, pretty even crimp. I mean, a pretty even, you know, uh, strip on there, so that you can just have a pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty even. Uh, and then we're gonna do that. Um, then when you do this, you got to make sure first make sure you put the wires through the the plug so that you got them like that now so here's your positive here's your negative so your negative is going to go into green and once it's tight should you know give it a pull make sure it's tight give it a good tight same thing with the positive let's get that in there real nice and then you tighten that down and then she's done. Well, your wires are. So now you just put in your, you know, your plug has a little alignment hole there. And then you just uh, screw your plug back together. Plug is screwed back together. And then I'll show you. Last step is we put on our, our collar so that everything stays nice here. 
So then you just put these guys back in and your plug is done. Now I probably could have shortened up the plug a little. I'm gonna leave the wires on just in case. I mean, I don't know. I, I always like to leave a little more wire on in case I ever need to do a repair. Um, you know, you never know why you might need that wire. And again, you know, you, you don't know. So I always, I, I like to leave a little more wire on. Um, I have an area where I can, uh, I have an area underneath my locator where I can make it look real nice. So, um, this is just being a little stubborn here. Don't forget to buy my this little driver. But you get the idea. So See that's that? It goes, it's the power cord. It's the transducer cord, sorry, for your locator. And it's this little thing right here that goes to this pigtail. You have to buy that separate. It's called an US-2. That's only if you're going to be using the trolling motor transducer, which I am because I don't have uh, down imaging up here. I just have chirp. And then you just take your, your lead off of the head of your motor and you plug that in. Um, I think I'm going to mount the puck right up in here somewhere. My locator goes right right here. So I'm going to mount the puck right up in here somewhere because I never step up here. I just want to get my locator on and, and uh, you know, as I see, this thing just screws in. It just screws into the other end. Uh, but don't, you know, nobody has mentioned that. And uh, so don't make the same mistake I did and leave the store without that little pigtail. It's called a US-2 adapter. Uh, it's for the transducer for your locator if you're not using down imaging. If you just have you chirp with GPS. It. You want to make sure it's right in the center for you. Um, my existing holes didn't really work. I'm just going to drill some holes. I'm going to put in uh, and uh, get the screws back in there. But that's no big deal. That should be a simple piece of cake. I'm just going to use my screwdriver and uh, my cordless screwdriver. And I already got three screws here. Uh, number two bit. Let's see if I can get this with just this. I don't have to drill. Let's see if I can do that without screwing this up too bad. Yeah, see that one in nice. And then the two front ones, um, I may have to plug her in and actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the foot pedal so it's up, and then I'll be back to drill those other two holes. These are all in now. Okay, so the pedal is mounted. Now, all that's left is where we're gonna mount our GPS. I think it's gonna probably be somewhere right in here. Um, just because that's going to be where my locator goes and then it'll, it'll be out of the way, I won't step on it. So stay tuned. Um, so here's where my locator goes, right here. I think that's where we're probably going to put it. Um, I don't step there at all. Um, I don't step there at all. So I think that's where I'm going to try and put that thing. And we're just going to basically you just connect it to power. So here's where I'm going to mount um, my puck right here. That power this is my heading. 12 volt power. For the, I'm just going to put the locator on. I went to power down under here. I just you can find any 12 volt power, um, and that's what this uh, the heading uh, puck runs on. So before I do anything, I'm going to mount my locator, and then I'll take a quick picture of that for you, and then I'm going to get this all tightened up, and then I'm going to put everything back together. She's done. All I got to do is put the uh, prop on and you know hopefully that gave you some tips um, that weren't in most of the videos the gas shock I didn't see anybody doing that that's kind of a little tricky part yeah, so just remember and, uh, use these you three know, make sure don't if, worry about if you're going from a maximum to an Ultrex um, the bolt holes are wider but all you want to do is take this cover off this and then you can use the bolts that are on the outside and they'll fit so don't go drilling you know don't do that too much um 
you know don't drill your boat right away if you have to you have to you may um, but other than that it was a pretty easy install uh, like I said I'm just gonna put my locator on make sure my puck is good and then I'm gonna secure my puck and that's gonna okay, be it last thing thanks for watching and stay tuned now I'll, I'll do a wrap up in a minute. Uh, but what I forgot to tell you was you got to put your brace on so I mean for a big deep V that's why they got this big thing for me I only need right here so I'm just going to measure, and we got about seven, seven and seven, seven and seven sixteenths. So basically we could just do seven and three eighths. So we're going to cut this bar to the hacksaw, seven and three eighths. And then that gives us a little bit of play here because you got this nut right here that you can play with it a little bit. You know you can play with the height so i'm going to do that and um, then i'll install that and that'll be the last part of the install and then i'll take some final pictures for you guys um, and review what i've kind of learned as i did this uh, and then it's time to calibrate it hopefully i can calibrate it today so we'll see all right stay tuned okay so this is the last step thank god um, it was actually a really easy install i just cut this to what i needed it and then you put your brace up in the mount um, Put your little foot on, your little foot, and then you just screw it up. I did mine kind of full, so it up like that. And you put your thing on the top, and then you got your brakes. And that's for for rough water. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So tighten that down, and she's done. And that concludes our install. Uh, I did learn some stuff. Um, as I said, if you're using the well nuts, first thing, don't forget to take your your side off. If you're using a Maxim, if you're using a Fortrax, you can use the regular bolt holes that are just right in here. Maxims are a little wider though. Um, so just take this panel off and you use the bolt holes on the outside of the track. If you're using the well nuts, make sure you, I'm going to take that off and actually tighten it again just because they're compressing because they're rubber. Um, what else did normally, your gas shock, that's pretty easy, nobody really showed that. Um, and yeah, the next video, stay tuned, will be uh, when we're out on the water. Uh, calibrating. So, all right, thanks for watching. Hopefully that will help you if you're going to install your own Ultrex. Okay, so Stay tuned for the calibration video. Um, um, I forgot to turn the sound on earlier when I did the pairing. Pairing is really easy. You turn power on, you hit the button on the, you hit this button on the puck. It starts blinking. Motor's on, you turn your motor on, and then you hit this button right here. Uh, let's see if we can get that a little bit better. Uh, there it is. So right there, you hit that pair button, you hold it, and it's going to beep like three times. So that's just because I forgot to put the sound on. Um, so, but everything worked uh, as it should, and I'll be putting some videos up um, probably today or tomorrow. Um you know with the motor it worked uh, pretty good all right well thanks for watching my install and the pairing and the operation and the sensor calibration sensor offset it's so, all right we'll see you see it. out there and you press start you hit okay you hit this this soft key is start okay so you got to drive the boat in a complete circle twice shows you your progress and as we go that little circle goes and shows you the progress you're doing once that's done it should tell you calibration complete and then you move to sensor offset
can turn the motor up higher. I just had mine on six, so you can turn it up higher if you want. Calibration successful. Calibration successful. All right. So now you go back to your system and then you go to sensor offset. You choose that and you point the motor, you parallel the motor with the keel. So if you want the motor, it's hard to do because it's so sensitive. If you want the motor pretty much, that looks like it's about parallel with the keel. And then you just hit set. And then it, there's your offset. Okay. And you're done. So now you're done. Now she's ready to go. That's it for calibration and pairing. So we're ready to fish. We should have spot lock and everything. Let's see if we get spot lock. And there's spot lock. You can see because we got the anchor light in the motor and the motor should, there it goes. So the wind is blowing us. So it's gonna keep us right here. You can see the motor adjusting right now and it's gonna keep us right here. All right, done. Now there she goes. She's got, she's got us going. So the robot is steering. Goodbye.